I've been here for 41 years and I started in radiology or imaging. But then that radiology moved over to anatomy instead of imaging the living, imaging the dead. So anatomy is just the study of the body. The first time I went to the institute. Susan, uh, like a lot of donors, came to the University of Colorado to donate her body. She wanted to give her body to research or education. She saw a newspaper article about the visible human and sectioning a body, so she seemed to understand what it meant. If that slice of tissue of your body goes into a gel form and the student can pick it up, they can take pictures and the student can pick it up. They don't have to go through anatomy classes that all of us went through. She died three years ago. She died at 87. We basically take a slice off every increment about the thickness of an average human hair. By the time we got to uh, imaging Susan, it was 27,000 slices. So you expose a new surface by cutting it off with this, with this cutter, spray it with alcohol, take a picture, and start the process all over again. The first part of seeing this body after it's imaged is you see cross-sections. You see every slice from head to foot, in this case 27,000 slices. You can remove one muscle at a time or, or isolate one artery or one nerve so that we can explain to students not just the, the name of the nerve, but where does it travel? What's next to it? I think Susan would be extremely happy. This kind of information can educate everyone, from the public to our medical students. So fascinating. It's an amazing story. It happened right here at CU right. Anschutz. And the story of Susan Potter as well as Dr. Spitzer is in National Geographic. I can't recommend it enough if you have time to yeah. read it. It's about medicine. It's about science. It's also about the human Susan Potter involved in this and the other humans whose lives uh, that she touched while alive, the students at the school, Dr. Mm -hmm. Spitzer and many others. Now so at the amazing. time of her donation, Susan's body had major medical issues. She had breast cancer and diabetes. He says generally they like the younger specimens to study anatomy with. He thought at first they wanted a perfect specimen. Mm -hmm. Instead, he understood that a disease specimen could be something they could learn more from. And in this case, they wanted also to study the body of an older person. It is amazing. Just uh, the fact that she wanted to do this and donated and realized you know, how m much students would get from her donation is just incredible. And her life story is also part of this story. Like mm -hmm. I said, I can't tell you enough. I'll post the National Geographic story yeah. uh, on, on my Twitter feed and all, all my social media so you can get a look at it. Uh, it's, it's incredible. Yeah. It's incredible. Well, speaking of science,